So here we have a question that will involve the laws of indices. We've got an algebraic expression, n squared, raised to the power 3. We're multiplying that by n to the negative 10. And we're asked to simplify that, giving our answer with a positive power. Now the laws of indices, as you'll recall, usually stated like this. If you're multiplying two expressions that are written as powers of a number, a say, then you add the indices. Similar expression if you're dividing the two power terms, you would subtract the indices. If you have something raised to a power raised to another power, you multiply these indices. And we also have one that says if we have a to a negative power, it's the same as 1 over the same expression with the positive power. And a to the 0 is 1, and so on. So these are basically the laws of indices that you've learned. So let's have a look at this. We can immediately see this power raised to a power where you multiply these two. So this should give us 2 times 3, which is 6. Now if we think Another way of thinking about it is n squared to the power 3. There's n squared cubed, three copies of n squared multiplied together. And then using the adding indices rule would say that that's n to the power 2 plus 2 plus 2. Three lots of 2, which is 6. So there's another way of getting n to the power 6. So we're left with two powers of n here. We can add these indices, 6 plus negative 10 is negative 4. So that's us using this first law up here. And we now recognize this negative power law, which is if you have a negative power, 1 over the same thing with a positive power. So that's 1 over the same thing, but with a positive power. So that's 1 over n to the power 4. So there's your answer with a positive power uh, of n.